Hey everyone, so glad you're with us today. I pray that you're having a wonderful, encouraging day. I believe I've got something from the Word of God that is gonna help you no matter where you're at right now. Let the Word of God minister to you. Let the peace of God minister to you. Let the Holy Spirit fill your room, fill your heart, and just receive from Him. I wanna look at Jeremiah 29, 11. Very familiar passage, but let's just look at it. It says, for I know the plans I have for you. It says the Lord, they are plans for good, and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Listen, God has plans for your life. And those plans, and I know you've heard the scripture before, those plans are good plans. They're plans filled with hope, not for disaster. One translation says to bless you, to prosper you, and to give you an end. God has good plans for you. My question is, have you been meditating on the plans that God has for your life? Have you been protecting the plan that God has for your life? At the end of the day, it's your responsibility and it's my responsibility to protect this plan that God has for us. The Bible talks about how we need to choose a path for our feet and keep our path or keep our feet from evil. It's up to us to make sure that we walk in the steps of the righteous, that we walk down this awesome plan that God has for our life. And we don't let anything or anyone deter us from going the direction and on the path that God has for us. I want to read one more scripture for you over here in Proverbs chapter 4. It says this in verse 20, pay attention, my child, to what I say. Listen carefully. The Bible says there's many voices in the world, none without significance. There's voices all around. We've got moms and dads and brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles. We've got news and social media. We've got our pastors, our churches. We've got, we got friends and family. There's many voices in our life. But we have to make sure we are listening to the voices that matter. And one voice that matters above all the other voices is the voice of God, the voice of His Spirit. If you will trust, Proverbs 3 talks about this, trust in the Lord. Lean not under your understanding, but acknowledge Him in all of your ways. What is that? That is you saying, I'm gonna listen to God's plan. I'm gonna listen to God's voice for my life. Don't let anything move you from God. Don't let anything move you from His plan. Hold fast to the good things that He has for you and for your family. So pay attention, my son, to what I say. Listen carefully. Do not lose sight of my words. You know, Cody and I did a sermon in the youth a couple weeks ago called Distractions. There's so many things all around us. And what are they trying to do? What's the devil trying to do? He's trying to get your attention off of God's word because the devil knows that God's word is so important to make sure you walk down this path God has for you. A path of health and wholeness, a path of prosperity, a path, a path of peace and hope. And it's a good path. The devil wants to get you off of that path. Decide in your heart today, you will not be moved from that. Don't lose sight of my words, let them penetrate deep within your heart, for they bring life and radiant health to anyone who discovers them. Above all else, guard your heart, for it affects everything that you do. Listen, God's put a plan on the inside of you. That plan is alive in your heart, but you've got to protect it. Be sure you're watching over it diligently. Make sure you're following after Him and work hard to stay on the path of the righteous. Do not be distracted, pulled to the left or the right, but focus in on Him. One thing we can do every day and we should do as believers is pray a prayer of dedication. Father God, I'm dedicated to your plan. Father God, I'm dedicated to your word. Father God, I submit my life to you and I yield to the plan that you have for my life. Amen. Listen. No matter what's going on, I'm praying for strength in your heart right now. I'm praying for peace in your mind. I know that things have been difficult with all of this pandemic and stuff going on, but God is good and he's got a good plan for you. Amen. We love you guys so much. Stay on the course God has for you. Stick with the plan, stick with the word, and you're going to come out blessed, prosperous, and on the other side. We love you so much. We'll see you next time. Be blessed.